Welcome back to Combat Mission, where we're going to get super basic and have a look at the ways we can manipulate the camera and issue orders. This is one of those topics where most people can pick up enough to get by pretty quickly, but there are a lot of little details and features that aren't immediately obvious and can make the game a lot easier to handle. And of course, although the footage from this video is from Fortress Italy, we are dealing with the game engine, so everything here applies to the other titles as well. Starting off with the standard controls for the camera, we've got W, A, S and D to move the camera forward, back, left and right, then Q and E to rotate left and right. Pretty standard stuff. Then we've got R and F, which will raise and lower the camera respectively, with a little tilt effect so we don't end up staring at the dirt. And we can do all this with the mouse as well. If we hold the left mouse button down, we can drag the camera. If we hold the right mouse button, we can rotate it. The mouse wheel on its own will move the camera up and down. If we hold shift and use the mouse wheel, it replicates the height and pitch function we got using R and F. While using control lets us just adjust the pitch. In case that wasn't enough, we can also rotate and pitch the camera using the arrow keys on the keyboard. We can also toggle screen edge camera movement by using Alt E. When this is on, we can move and rotate the camera by moving the mouse cursor to the edges of the screen. Finally, we have the zoom functions, X to zoom in up to 20 times, Z to zoom out, and we can press C to switch in and out of a wide angle camera. On top of this, there are some preset camera positions that we can go through with the number keys. One is down at ground level, and the camera gets higher and gets closer to top down as you move towards 9. It can take some time to get around, especially on larger maps, so we can double click or left control click on any part of the map to jump to that position. Or we can select a unit and press tab to instantly jump to it. This also locks the camera to that unit's facing, giving us a view lock, but we can break that and just have the camera tethered to the unit by rotating it. Once we're locked to a unit, we can also quickly jump to other units by pressing plus and minus to cycle up and down the formation. Here, for example, if we lock onto this Tiger Platoon HQ, pressing plus takes us to the first heavy tank, then to the second heavy tank. If we press minus, it takes us back to the first tank and then to the Platoon HQ, and we can cycle through the entire force like this if we want to check on all of our units. We can also jump around our units in a more targeted way by following the C2 chain. In the bottom left corner of the UI, we've got details of this unit's parent formations. We know that this, for example, is the first heavy tank of 2nd Platoon, 1st Company, 1st Battalion. Clicking on these formation levels will jump us to the relevant HQ unit if it's available. For infantry units, we can also move down as well. So if we select this Panzer Grenadier Platoon HQ behind the Tigers, we can see a little tab with a flag on it, which shows us all the units this Platoon HQ is in command of. And if we click on one of those, we jump to that unit. If the HQ has any subordinate formations under it, then we can use the tab with the three flags on it to jump to the HQs of those subformations. Vehicles don't usually have that option because that little window in the UI is taken up by damage, ammunition, and armor ratings. To release the camera, all we have to do is pan it or press tab again. We can use the plus and minus keys and the C2 system to cycle through units if the camera is unlocked, but if we do, the camera doesn't move. We just select the units. Finally, we have the surprisingly useful V key which instantly flips the camera through 180 degrees. Moving on to the commands, these are all in a grid in the bottom right corner of the UI. There are about 30 of these in total, which is obviously a lot of buttons to cram in there, so they're split into four categories that we can switch between by using the lettered buttons on top of the grid. We have M for movement controls, C for combat, S for special, and A for admin, which we can also select by using the F5 to F8 keys, or cycle through using the numpad, forward slash, and asterisk keys. The shortcut for each command is noted on its button in the grid. If we press B, we get the fast command. If we press T, we get the target command, and the grid automatically swaps over to the combat commands. The default hotkeys are a little bit all over the place, but you can customize them by tweaking the hotkeys notepad file in the user data folder. 
This can be a bit quicker than clicking on the buttons themselves if you're into that sort of thing. The last way to get access to all the orders is to press the space bar. This brings up a more compact version of the orders panel where the mouse cursor is, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Finally, there are three more buttons above the orders panel, which are the instant command buttons for pausing, cancelling all orders, and evading. So that's a quick once over of the camera controls and how to get at the orders. Like I said at the start, it is super basic stuff, but hopefully there are a few less obvious things in there that might make life a bit easier, whether you've been playing Combat Mission for years or you've just picked it up. Hope you all enjoyed this one, found it useful, and I'll catch you in the next video.